Hello everyone. On this video, I like to show you guys about the pop-up builder, uh, but for dynamic pop-up builders, for loops, okay? Because it is so, so easy making this with bricks. I know on the other builders, it is really hard to build it, or you need add-ons or extra code and stuff. But for the bricks, it's pretty easy. This is just a new install, and I have just three post and just example posts let's create a page first and let's call this let's create the loop home loop okay and let's edit this with bricks and i'm gonna make it pretty easy let's make it block i'm gonna loop this enable loop post you know what? I'm going to leave it default. We, we can change it, but we don't need it. Like, this is very simple. Let's add heading and content. Let's make post title. Let's make this accept, maybe. Uh, I think we can set up this like that. Yeah, we can limit it like that easily. Uh, let's give a little bit spacing between the blocks okay and i think each has featured image let's add image top of the each uh, no, 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 no. featured image tag that's it yeah uh, let's check the preview good each each of them has that. And you know what? I'm gonna make this grid. One FR, one FR, one FR. Because why not? I want to see it a little bit smaller, okay? So, when we click each of them, the pop-up will open and show the post content dynamically, okay? And now we need to create the post uh, loop pop-up. Let's go to the templates, create templates create the pop-up let's call it pop um, posts or post okay let's select template as a pop-up publish edit bit bricks okay and we just need to add however we want like any design we want let's make it post title let's add the post content let's add the Featured, yeah, I think featured image should be exist too. Let's add the image as a featured image tag. We can make it full view, why not? Let's give it a little bit spacing between them. That's it. This will be the pop-up. So I'm not going to set up the close button. We don't need it anyway. We can click outside. That's it. This is the pop-up, okay? First, we need to set up click interaction so okay so without click interaction we can we can i mean how, how are we going to see the pop-up yeah let's select block when i click the block element this is the container i mean it could be just image too but i'm gonna make it all clickable okay first i'm gonna make uh, cursor pointer this is for when we hover, we will see finger. See, we will see hand. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, when I do that, oh, is this a bug? I think I found a bug. <laughs> I don't know. Did I? Ah, I didn't save it. Okay. My bad, my bad. Let's add that, save it. I think that, that was a back or something i don't know let's give it a little bit spacing top bottom so it doesn't go under the admin bar okay so now we will select the block we will click to the interaction and we will when we clicked open the it can be start animation or just show height simple let's make it as animation slide in 
from up to down yeah sliding up let's make it faster and select the pop-up post pop-up i'm gonna leave one thing missing so you understand i say that yeah refresh when i click it pop-up will open but uh oops i need to give condition sorry see without giving condition to the pop-up entire website or depending on the page you can just limit one page one ar archive one category so we need to make it all page why not now when i click it pop up will open but it's empty why why it's empty and it's not the correct title it should show me florem Upsu. yeah because we didn't give the template we, we didn't give the loop which pop-up it, it needs to in inject the content for that we just need the add template element inside the loop okay and we need to select the pop-up that's it and after that when we refresh it let's click that see now we have the content dynamically because the loop now knows actually other way around now pop-up knows the which post content it, it needs to show dynamically every time you click it actually there is a data tags on the dom too you can you can see it let me show yeah see these are the data tags data interaction loop id it gives the loop id data interaction it gives the pop-up a id so uh, it knows dynamically which content show that's it that that's what i wanted to show because it is so easy with bricks and it is completely native and you don't need to write any code for it if you have any questions keep a comment write a comment please see you guys on the next video bye